Hi there guys, I hope you are having a good day. Now, the WBC have greenlit Anthony Joshua to have an opportunity at their WBC World Championship, and obviously that would be against Tyson Fury. Now, this is in response to Anthony Joshua saying he would love to get his hands on that green and gold belt, and wants to make undisputed with Fury next year. And it was the WBC that came back and said that they would be happy to see Anthony Joshua challenge for their world title, and they were the first governing body to rank Anthony Joshua, so ultimately they would be happy to see Tyson Fury take on Anthony Joshua for Undisputed. Of course they would, but before they can get to that point they both have respected fights to come through first, Tyson Fury on the 5th of December, Anthony Joshua on the 12th of December, so they are both fighting around the same time, and then will be ready to go on to Undisputed in 2021 barring any mandatories being called, and given the WBC have made this statement that they would be happy for Anthony Joshua to challenge Tyson Fury for that WBC World Championship, I'm guessing there is going to be no mandatories, because Dillian White versus Alexander Povetkin will determine who is WBC interim champion. Dillian White has obviously waited an extremely long time for his world title opportunity, but considering he's no longer fighting Povetkin on November 21st, he will now fight Povetkin around January 30. Does that then mean we will not have a WBC mandatory in 2021? Well, the mandatory might get called, but I don't believe that Dillian White or Alexander Povetkin will have a WBC world title shot in 2021, because I think that Undisputed will be the fight that happens, two of them, in 2021. Now, of course, Anthony Joshua also has a mandatory, and that will be Alexander Usyk, AJ must deal with him in order to get to Tyson Fury, whether that be in the ring or outside of the ring. Usyk has said he's going to force his position on Anthony Joshua, whether AJ has to vacate or fight him, he doesn't care, he's going to make sure he gets a World Heavyweight Championship title shot next. So AJ has a choice, relinquish the title or ask the WBO for an exception. And the interesting thing is, Frank Warren is right there waiting for that to happen. If the WBO belt becomes vacant, Daniel Dubois is ranked number 2, Alexander Usyk obviously the mandatory and ranked number 1, so Frank Warren has already explained that he is eager to put Daniel Dubois in there with Alexander Usyk in a vacant WBO world title shot, provided Daniel Dubois does come through Joe Joyce, which is no given, so there is obviously a plan if that WBO belt does become vacant but they do want to make it for Undisputed, so it is important that that WBO strap is on the line. It does just all depend on whether they can get around the politics to make sure that every party is happy. Usyk is obviously not going to be happy if he's not fighting Anthony Joshua and not getting a world total opportunity, because let's remember, Usyk does work closely with Matrim also, so if you look at it that way, Eddie Hearn has an obligation to get Usyk the best fights, and also to get Anthony Joshua the best fights. So how does he win in all of this? It's the same with Frank Warren. He needs to get Tyson Fury the best opportunities. He also needs to get Daniel Dubois the best opportunities. Tyson Fury doesn't fight for Undisputed if they push for Daniel Dubois to fight for that vacant world title. But then again, it's not the same situation because Daniel Dubois is in no position to force a vacant world title opportunity because he's ranked number two. So, it's all on Eddie Hearn, Anthony Joshua, and Alexander Usyk with regards to that WBO belt. The WBC seem keen to allow Anthony Joshua to fight for that world title against Tyson Fury. So, that does tell us that maybe there won't be a mandatory next year, and if there is, then it will be called. But maybe not have to be dealt with until 2022. Given what the WBC have said, it does seem like they are prioritising that undisputed championship fight between Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. That is very important, because there are so many belts now, there are four major heavyweight world championships, and all of those world championships will have mandatories at some point, and fighters who want their opportunity, so that means if undisputed happens twice next year, no voluntaries are fought, no mandatories are fought, so that does make it difficult for the then undisputed world champion next year going into 2022 with regards to mandatories and fighters who deserve an opportunity at that world championship. 
That's why I think that there should be something put into place where the top fighters fight the top fighters. So the governing bodies can put together eliminators to see who gets to be mandatory. Then that will not make the division stagnate so much in a 2021 as a result of Undisputed. Obviously, it's not necessarily stagnating because we are seeing who is number one and the Undisputed champion. But then you have to think about Alexander Usyk, Dillian White, Povetkin, dependent upon who wins that fight between those two. Then you have Andy Ruiz, Joseph Parker, Michael Hunter, these fighters who will be looking for an opportunity at that heavyweight world championship. So the best thing to do is, in my opinion, to put them all in together to get to see who gets to fight the undisputed world champion. That is the only way that it works, because otherwise there are going to be so many fighters who say that, hang on a minute, I want my world title opportunity, particularly the winner of Dillian White versus Alexander Povetkin for the WBC and for Alexander Usyk with regards to the WBO World Championship. So given that, I think that it is an obligation of the governing bodies also to ensure Undisputed happens because yes, the fighters can want it. Yes, the promoters can get along and find a way to hash out a deal behind the scenes. Yes, that can happen. But if the governing bodies insist on forcing their mandatories, which I guess they should because a mandatory should get their opportunity. That is why they have worked their way up to that position. But still, Undisputed comes along once in a lifetime. It is one particular moment that ensures who is number one in the heavyweight division. You have two fighters currently in their prime. So when better is there going to be for them to fight? So that is why it is also an obligation of the governing bodies to make sure that that fight happens. So not necessarily suspend all mandatories for 2021, but they do need to work towards that fight happening like the WBC. If they are being positive about it, if say the WBO are being positive and maybe looking for a resolution to Alexander Usyk and his mandatory position, then maybe we can actually have undisputed between Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury next year. That's what should be happening for the good of the sport as well. Because as boxing fans, we want to see the best fight the best. And there seems to be something continuously that gets in the way of that, whether it's the fighter, whether it's the promoters, whether it's the governing bodies forcing their mandatories, which again, mandatories should have their opportunities. I'm not saying they shouldn't, but there needs to be a way in which they move towards these big fights happening. Like Tyson Fury on December 5th, Dillian White no longer has an opponent. So you just think that why not put Dillian White in there with Tyson Fury? Yes, Dillian White is coming off of a loss, but who would you rather see him fight? Carlos Takam, Caballel, Charles Martin, or Dillian White? Yes, it's going to be Dillian White. Why does there always seem to be some reason why those fights don't happen? It just seems so simple. Tyson Fury doesn't have a fight. Dillian White doesn't have a fight. They're both in training camp, working towards a similar date, just a week or two apart. So it just seems simple to put them in together, but still, it doesn't seem to happen. That is why fights like this, AJ versus Fury, need to happen. Because those are the fights that the fans really want to see. Guys, anyway, what are your thoughts on this? Make sure you leave your thoughts in the comments below, leave a thumbs up, and subscribe if you are new. Thanks guys.